Well, what about the genetic similarity between humans and chimps? Without question, humans and chimps do share a high degree of genetic similarity, somewhere between 90 and 98 percent, depending upon how you tabulate genetic similarities and differences. Now, many people see this high degree of genetic similarity as evidence that humans had an evolutionary history, a history that we share with the great apes, with chimpanzees being our closest living evolutionary relative. Now, what are we to do with this insight from a Christian perspective? Well, some Christians take the view that God used evolution as the means to create. This pos position is called evolutionary creation or theistic evolution. Uh, but there are other Christians like me who are skeptical of aspects of the evolutionary paradigm. And instead of seeing humans as the product of evolution, see humans as the handiwork of a creator who intervened in a direct personal way to bring about the creation of an Adam and Eve as the very first human beings. So how do we make sense of the genetic similarity in that particular view? Well, I would argue that the high degree of genetic similarity between humans and chimps is actually anticipated in the biblical creation accounts. For example, in Genesis 2, we see that God created Adam from the dust of the earth and then he breathed the breath of life into Adam. Interestingly enough, in Genesis 2.19, it tells us that the animals are made from the dust of the earth as well, uh, that the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, were made from the dust of the earth. What this tells us is that humans and other creatures all are made out of the same stuff, so that we would expect biological similarities between humans and other creatures anatomical, physiological, cellular, biochemical, and genetic similarities. Where humans differ from other creatures isn't in our biological makeup, it's rather that we uniquely bear God's image. And I take the breath of life in Genesis 2 to be God imparting the image of God into human beings. That is what distinguishes us from other creatures. So, in a sense, this high degree of genetic similarity can be readily accommodated within a creation model framework. Interestingly enough, before Darwin, many biologists saw the shared biological features uh, among organisms that naturally group together as reflecting an archetypical design that existed in the mind of God that was then expressed in the natural realm uh, and varied to create biological diversity. So applying that insight, we could argue that there is a genetic archetype as well. And that genetic archetype is shared among humans and chimps, accounting for our genetic similarities, but that there's also differences in humans and chimps, genetically speaking. A 2% genetic difference between humans and chimps is quite an extensive difference that could easily account for our biological differences, our behavioral differences, and our cognitive differences. In other words, the genetic similarity between humans and chimps finds ready explanation within a creation model perspective. If you want to know more about genetic comparisons between humans and the great apes, I would invite you to take a look at a book that I co-authored with Hugh Ross called Who Was Adam?